Okay, we have to time this just right. We only get one shot. If we fail, that pod will grow past anything we could ever contain. On my mark, we mix in three, two, one. Go! Quite a mix. I know. Come on, let's contain the genus cell and head for home. Dr. Kane, I think we're gonna need small examples. It's gone. The genus, it devolved down into nothing. All right, it's been a month already, and I still can't figure out what happened to that genus pod. It simply disappeared. Hey, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, Ira. Even if it is a big purple world destroying genus gift horse. Besides, we could use a little vacation. Wayne's tricking out the fire truck. <laughs> LT's kicking it, literally. And I plan to catch up on some much-needed sports television. Harry, quick! My mom just called and said we're gonna be on the 5 o'clock news! Channel 7, hurry! But the game! Uh, I was done. Not, not a problem. And on a more positive note, a severe threat to humanity, the genus, has now gone 36 consecutive days without a single outbreak. Hey. <laughs> the president had this statement. We've won the war on the genus. Mm. I want to personally <laughs> thank the brave men and women who fought and defeated this alien menace. I promise they will be rewarded. Did you hear that? Huh? The, the president promised we'd be rewarded. Oh, it's about time we got a little recognition for our hard work. Hey, thanks. Come on in. Huh? We're being closed down huh? by order of General Woodman. Well, maybe they're going to replace it with something better. <laughs> <laughs> My TV! No! Have you no compassion? Have you no sense of decency? Harry, you have to be bigger than this. You can't let yourself get worked up over superficial attachments to things. My electro destabilizer! No! No! You can't! You can't take it! You can't! All right. Okay, they took everything. But look at the bright side. At least it can't get any worse. <laughs> Sir! Okay, so I was wrong. It's worse. Good to see you too, Kane. I'm afraid I have orders not to maintain any unnecessary budget expenditures. You mean we've done such a good job we don't have a job? That's basically it. Well, the good news is we saved the world. That's something, right? Right? You don't think they would... <laughs> Why? No. Oh, not my baby. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ah. 
That's it. Let's get it. Holy gas! Hey! All right. We'll do this the hard way. Those guys, they want to take Gassy. I didn't give that order. On whose authority are you doing this? What branch of the military are you with that you don't think you need to answer a general? Now you tell me who sent you and why. Sorry, general. We weren't gonna need to know basis, and you don't need to know. Move aside, or somebody gets hurt. Ooh, now I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make it a fair fight. Not that fair. Wow, not having a ball there really opens up the place. Come on, let's get out of here. Thanks, Lieutenant. Look, I never thought I'd be saying this, but you've all done a good job. You should be proud. I know I am. But. What do we do now? You go home. You all have lives outside this place, right? <laughs> well, of course we do. We're busy people with busy lives. Very busy. Well, I guess this is it. I guess this is mission accomplished and we all go our separate ways. We'll keep in touch, right? Well, sure, kiddo. Everybody's got my digits, right? Well, see you guys around, I guess. <sighs> I never thought I'd be wishing for a genus outbreak. Wayne Green speaking. How my director call? Hey, kiddo, it's Ira. I, uh, I'm not disturbing your dinner, am I? I mean, what's your mom cooking? Hi, I was in the neighborhood and, well, you know, I thought I'd see what you were up to. Huh? So, what are you up to? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hey, Wayne. You live here? Oh, talk about your freaky coincidences. Pretty nice, really. Come on inside, Harry. You too, Lieutenant. Dr. Kane's already on his way over. <laughs> <laughs> and then the captain comes over to me and says, Harry Block, you're a real goat head. <laughs> huh? Mom! Harry's feeding Gassy at the table! Oh, yeah, baby! Way to go! Whew. Mom! Wayne's friend is hogging the TV again! Mom! Wayne's other friend is using her phone! Long distance! Just, I'll only be a minute, kid. General, it's Ira. Kane? Yeah, uh, I was wondering, now that nothing's going on, no genus or anything, uh, what do people do when they retire? Maybe we should plan a fishing trip or something. Or maybe not. Hmm. Fishing? During this winter period, the Apteryx Galapagos vulgaris likes to perch on a rock, from where, in his infinite wisdom, he Ladies can and gentlemen of the alienators, I am a genius. Warn Adam, report up. Please respond. We will remain ever vigilant, just in case the genus is still out there. This is police dispatch. Go ahead, caller. It's horrible. Please try and stay calm and tell me what happened, sir. Oh, won't somebody please help? There's a monster, a terrible monster. Yeah! <laughs> Right, sir? Yes, but that thing, 
It's back there. Let's go. Be careful. It's a savage beast. It took my sandwich. It's got property of the zoo stamped on its collar. Hey, fella. Some monster. Mm. All right. Come on, let's take it back to the zoo. This is dispatch. We have a report of a runaway car, Baker 12. Huh? You want to check it out? Oh, maybe it's the genus. Sorry, Herrick. I need more speed. No genus, just a faulty parking brake. Maybe it'll be the genus next time. This is dispatch. Everything's quiet. Mm. Fireman! Wayne Green speaking. How may I direct your call? Uh, Lieutenant, it's for you. Yes? Yes, I understand. Thank you. Was it about the genus? No, I've been given new orders. They're shipping me out to Camp Bedford. I would like to thank you all for joining us at our dinner in honor of Lieutenant Lucy Mai. Blue Beret extraordinaire. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know, sitting here at dinner reminds me of a funny story when Lieutenant Lucy promised a cook and she used baking soda. <sighs> okay, maybe not that story. But there was the time when we went by the cleaners to pick up her uniform and... <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it wasn't that funny. <laughs> but let me just say, even though we didn't always agree, there is nobody I'd rather have watching my back than Lieutenant Lucy Mai. Uh-huh. Thanks, Doc. You want anything else, hon? Uh, nope. Not unless you happen to have a big heaping helping of genus outbreak back there. Big world threatening purple monsters. Get us all our jobs <laughs> back. Give us a purpose in life. <laughs> Nothing else. Thanks. Whew. That's outrageous. If I were you, General, I wouldn't pay it. The sea dassy, it's a pretend fire. Oh, you're right, Gassy. Somehow putting out imaginary fires isn't quite as much fun as it used to be. Do you smell that, Gassy? Huh? Yeah, it's a fire! A real fire! Come on! Hey! Wicked! Fire! Fire! What the? No need to thank me, sir. I'm just doing my job. Ira, it's late. You've been at that computer for days. You've sectored the entire globe twice with heat signature scans. You've run every possible test. Go home. There's no more genus. And that's a good thing, Ira. I guess you're right. I'll see you around, Allison. Uh, maybe we could catch a movie sometime. Oh, I'd like that, Ira. A movie. Movie. Move meant maybe. Just maybe. oscillator used to be. Oh, 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 and you've got to see this. I had the electron microscope over here, but I moved it to this corner for better feng shui. Dr. Kane, there's something strange about your laboratory. It's not here anymore, Deke. No, no, that's not it. Dr. Kane, they took Gassy. I was trying to follow them, but I lost them, and, and I hope Gassy's all right. It's all my fault. 
Oh, hey, don't worry, kiddo. We'll get the alienators back together and save gas. General, you've got to help us find where they took Gassy. Well, oddly enough, I've been looking into our mysterious men in dark sunglasses. They belong to General Granger. He runs a covert ops unit. He operates outside normal parameters doing top secret intelligence work. But Granger isn't the only general in the military with access to intel. As far as I'm concerned, the alienators are back in business. Going to whisper mode. Go take care of that outbreak. Firemen in training Green and I will rescue that pet alien dog thing you created. Hmm. Oh, Gassy, I thought I'd lost you. Yeah, my good Gassy, I was the guess. Who let these people in here? Don't you know who I am? You can't just barge in and interrupt my work. Fine. Just let me see your orders, General Granger, and I'll step aside. You had better watch it, General Woodman. You're on a line. Which line would that be? We both have the same number of stars, General. There's huh? too many of them, General. I got another idea. Come on, Gassy. Yeah, work up a good one. <laughs> This isn't over. Ready my attack, We couldn't detect this outbreak because it's the same one that devolved down to nothing over a month ago. Only it didn't really completely disappear. Somehow we changed its molecular structure so that it was masked from all our searches, allowing it time to migrate and make a new home for itself. Luckily, we didn't change its movement patterns. Well, it's all the same to me. It's just good to be back in business. State the alienators and rebuild your base at the Glen Canyon Community College. Yeah, all right. right. We're back. Oh, careful, General. We might get the idea that you actually have a heart in there. Come on, group hug, everybody. Group hug with the General. I, there's an outbreak near Cape Horn. We're on it. Saddle up, people. General, don't forget a really big TV with those inset screens that allow for up to four different channels at once, okay? And, sir, Gassy needs a new bed. Something nicer, you know, with a big canopy to keep the flies out. You wouldn't believe what a problem those are. <laughs> 